Hi guys. <coughs> um, Nessie's here. I have a um, another bee journal I want to show you. And in all honesty, this is probably going to be the last bee one I do for quite a while. I love bees, but I'm kind of all beed out now, I think. So <laughs> this is probably going to be my last one for a while. I'm just going to turn the light on. Hopefully it's a bit better bit of light. Uh, so yeah, this is a bee journal. Um, I have used a kit called Honey Blossom by the Book Vandal Shop. I will put a link in the description below. Um, I've also used quite a few tutorials from um, Angela Carr in this book. Her fantastic envelope ones and one for a centerpiece I think but I will tell you which ones I used as I go through the flick through and I will also put a link to her channel in the description below um, so yeah this is um, a bee journal it measures uh, seven and a half by just a tad over a five and a quarter I would say it has a um, two and five eighth spine four four centimeters not two and five eighth one five eighth spine so just over one and a half inch of spine and it has two signatures in it and again I did not count the pages so i'm not sure how many pages are in this journal but i will count them and i will put it in the description box below and it will also say in my etsy listing as well so for this journal it has um a tie on it which is just some seam binding it's not attached it's loose just some green seam binding now, for the cover, there was a lady um, on a Facebook group called uh, Rose James, and she did a cover like this, and I just loved it. It was so beautiful. So um, I did copy it, to be honest, because I just really loved it. I had these skeleton leaves. I've had them for ages, didn't know what to do with them. So, yeah, the cover is a hard cover. It's a um, Reader's Digest book. I haven't covered it or anything. It's, this is the actual original cover. Um, it has a couple of skeleton leaves on it and a bee wax seal on there. I did, however, cover or decoupage the spine with tea bags. So the spine's been done with tea bags and there is just the original cover on the back so let's start so on the front cover there is a flip now this was um an angela Carr tutorial i think it was fantastic envelopes number seven i think um she has loads but i'll put a link to her channel below so it flips this way and then it flips this way hopefully you can see and then it flips this way or you can just pull the whole thing out like so on one side and on the other side i just loved this i thought it was beautiful i love her tutorials i definitely recommend that if you make junk journals you go and check her out and each flip is a pocket it is um this is a window pocket it says buzz 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 with some tissue paper and some fabric stripping on it and inside there is a little journal card as you can see it's a clear window so when the card goes in, you can see the little um, B on the daisy. And then um, this pocket, these are um, 
all images from the kit this is fussy cutting on here there's a fussy cut B and there's the journal card um, all the journal cards have been backed with tea dye paper these ones have been backed with tea dye and turmeric so they've got a bit of a yellow tinge but they're the only ones and of course these ones have been stitched as well not all of them are stitched but they are all backed and then this flaps that way again this is fussy cutting this is an image from the kit um, I've just noticed that I meant to put a bit of lace down here there's a blank bit I will add a bit of lace to that there to cover that there's always something I forget and then there's another journal card That slips into this. This is actually made out of envelopes. That flips that way. Here we have a little pocket on the back here that has a journal card in it from the kit. And another card in the large pocket. And goes in there. so that's the front cover then we have a specimen card belly band and in here we have a envelope from the kit which has a journal card in it and there is a large card as well that's been stitched and backed that is one of the pages that I just cut down here is the um the specimen, the bees, a little bit of specimen card and some daisies. Now this has been left unstuck on the one corner. That is attentional. So if you get it, don't think, oh, it's coming off because no, that's attentional. That's so that we can put a card behind the, um, the belly band and the envelope. Because if you stuck that down, you wouldn't get your card in. So it's not coming off. That is a tension in the F. Then we have our first page, which is an image from the kit. Here we have some stenciling and a cluster. On the next page, there is some more stenciling and an image from the kit. Here we have a double envelope with a pocket. So you, we have a small envelope at the bottom. It's got a honey jar on it with some um, fabric and string and the definition of honey. And in here there is a little journal card. And then this envelope doubles as a pocket. And in there we have two journal cards. And then there is a, back, a bigger envelope on the back, which also has another journal card. And a um, fussy cut B as decoration on there as well. And then they go into that pocket there. Some more stenciling. More stenciling with a B. Here we have a pocket that has been made from an image of beehives from an Edith Holden book. It says a swarm of bees in May is worth a load of hay. A swarm of bees in June is worth a silver spoon. And that's got some fussy cutting at the top of the page as well. And then there are also two cards, a mason jar and just a sweet honey. That's on um, corrugated card board. Here we have some more stenciling. We a uh, hessian trim on this side with a fabric cluster and a bee charm. On the next page we have a, ta a giant tag that has a slot pocket on it with um, a honey label. In the slot pocket there are some little cards these ones have been back 
perfect. Yeah, those two. And here we have a B definition and a sweet honey label. And they go into the slots. This uh, slot pocket actually comes with the kit, so it's quite nice. It's something a bit different. You don't normally get things like that in there. And then that flips out. And there is a pocket on the back with some fussy cutting on it and a little fussy cut tag inside there. And just some journal paper from the kit. Another image from the kit. This is also paper from the kit. Here we have a CD envelope with some fussy cutting overlay on the top. And in the side, the CD envelope is this card, which actually fits quite nicely in there to show the, the little B through the window. Here we have some um, kind of tracing paper, tissue type paper. It's got blue squares on the other side, graph paper. Is it graph? I wouldn't call it graph paper, squared paper. And that has a cluster on. There is some more stenciling on here. And this is a centerpiece that um, was by Angela Carr. It's not one of her envelopes tutorials. It's definitely a center page tutorial, I think. You will, you will have to search them because she just has loads. But I'm sure this was a centre page. Well, anyway, there is a large pocket here with a journal card in, a um, tab card. Oh, I'm going at the wrong angle. There we go. There's a little front pocket on here that says Bloom. It has two cards in. Then this flips out, there is a little tuck here with a fussy cut B and it says buzz with two cards, two little cards, they do fit in. Um, here we have a hexagon tuck pocket that works as a tuck spot. And in there I've just put some little tickets and a little hexagon uh, image from the kit. These I haven't backed but I have inked them. They go into the little hexagon and behind the tuck spot there is a large tag. Um, this is some fussy cutting. There is a centre pocket here and uh, it's got fussy cutting on this side and fussy cutting on this side. There are two cards in here. And this is pretty much the pocket where the signatures are sewn in. If you can see that, that's where the signature is sewn in. And then it's tied off at the edges to make a pocket for your tags. Make a slot in there. And then on the other side, you've got another pocket here, which says sweet. With two tags in cards sorry journal cards it's a mirror of the other side so that opens you have a tuck here this one says honeybee with two cards in like so i really liked this it's really different and then there's another hexagon pocket here tuck spot and again, this one's got, why can't I get these? There they go. It's got two, two little tickets and another little hexagon card. And they slot in there. And behind there, there is another tag. 
I like it when you get something different in the centre. And again, there's another large pocket behind which has another um, tap card in it. And then we have some more stenciling, B stenciling, with blue square paper. Uh, there's a cluster on here and on this side there is a image from the kit that I have turned into a flip out. I used some page tabs like this, they're tabs like this and I used them as hinges on the flip. So yeah, there's a flip out. Um, some images from the kit and here we have some more hexagon pockets I really like these they're like honeycomb um, I did them in my last bee journal uh, these are a little bit smaller because it's a smaller book and each one has um, a ticket a hexagon this one's got a little circle in they're just so cute. I like anything little. A little image, another hexagon and ticket. Uh, here we have a little mason jar, another hexagon and another ticket. And this one is a ticket, a large circle and a hexagon next page tea dyed paper some stenciling on here we've got a bit of lace trimming with some more stenciling uh, more stenciling here there is a envelope which is tied closed this just opens out and then I haven't put anything in here. I've left it so it's like a journal spot. So it's like a like a little hidden secret journal spot. So you can do your notes in there. But you can also put something in there and close it up and tie it. And it will stay in there. And then that just ties shut. With the... Um, just some, oh, what do you call it? It's fate, a frayed fabric strip. And I'm making a right hash of this tying. There we go. It's just a bit of fabric tea dyed strip. Next page, there is another image from the kit with some stenciling. There's another cluster here like clusters image from the kit and that's the first signature there's quite a lot of writing space in here but at the same time i have gone mad with the pockets again i always go mad with the pockets here is a um a library card from the kit she gives you two so i back them onto each other one on each side so it's like a double library card and a flip at the same time each has two library cards inside there and then that flips out and there's another two there and we flip it and there is some lace trimming here so here i found in a dictionary a page with b so it's got b and then it lists all the b's like b b b b or b bread Breach, Beaching, Bee Eater, and that's um, I decoupaged with a bee napkin over it, and that is a large pocket that has a large tag in, and that goes in there, but it also doubles as a really big pocket type belly band. So behind there, there is also a large card with stitching and that slides behind the larger 
dictionary page pocket. I really like how that turned out. Then we have some more pages and images from the kit. Here we have a um, coin envelope. No, it's not a coin envelope. What are they called? Um, policy. Policy envelope, I think they're called. With a little tuck spot on the bottom. Hive syrup. And in there, there is two cards. And this one. And then here's your policy envelope. That opens out and inside there, there are two cards, two journal cards. Beautiful kit, I love this kit, but like I say, I am all bead out. I want to try and do... Um, Something a bit more summery, I think, for my next journal. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm doing a um, kind of nautical beach type one. My sister just bought me a new kit. Um, then we have more images from the kit. Another piece of the blue squared tissue type paper. Here we have a specimen card pocket. Um... This has been decoupaged with tea bags and then it's got a stump, stamped image, specimens label on it with a little label there. And that has two cards in, a large one and a bingo one. In there. I do like doing specimen cards. I think that's one of the best things about a bee journal now is you get to make these um, specimen cards. Here we have some more hessian trim with another uh, fabric cluster and a bee charm with a flower doily on it and a fabric bee. Let me open it up. Here we have um, the flip out envelopes that I did in my last journal and I did a tutorial on with some fake stamps on. This first one flips over like so and has two cards in. And they go in there. And then this envelope flips like that. And there's another two cards in there as well. I'll just lift that up. Oh, I always struggle to get these things in on video, but I promise you they do go in quite easily. So it's like a double flip but I just like the look of the layered envelopes inside a journal here we have another B cluster and this is the center page of the second signature and this is another tutorial that was by Angela Carr I did tell you I'd done quite a few because I love her stuff this one I think was fantastic envelopes number 15 and this she calls um, a specimen card booklet. So on the front here, we have like a specimen card. I did mine. She does a circle, but I did a hexagon because I wanted something a bit different. And I think it goes well with the bee theme because you it's like the honeycomb, isn't it? So my, I did the hexagon one like so. So that's the front of the booklet. You flip it over and it's... Um, the image is the same on the other side because uh, I mirrored it. So you don't get a blank B on the other side. Here's the centre of the signature with the little tab ties. And there is a pocket on this side with a large card in. And there is a large pocket here. That has another card in it's a nice one because you could put a photo on the front of there and write on the back i like them when they get blank spaces on them but that was um one of the pages that i just shrunk down it's not an actual card that you get and that goes inside the envelope and then on the other side there is a handmade envelope where i've um punched the flap 
there's a fussy cut bee and some fussy cut daisies and I punched the flap and in there there is another card and I made it with some decorative backing paper as well and that goes in there so that is another Angela Carr video here we have some more stenciling on the tea dyed paper tea dyed paper this is um, a set of it's a digital set of um, lace coffee dyed pages I can't for the life of remember where I got it from I've had them for ages I use them a lot for backings on journal pages there's some lacing with some stitching on, decorative stitching. And then here we have another flip up. This one is of the honey jar, says honey. You flip it up. And again, I've used the hinges, the tabs, the page tabs as hinges on this. And there's the other side of the decorative stitching. And on this side, there is a large pocket so this pocket was made up of a journal i took one of the pages from the kit and then i folded it back and then folded it up so you got this and then well there's a little slot in here so i've slotted in a b definition thing in there and uh there's a little b charm there that hold, held it up that was the page from the kit it says queen b so that goes in there and then this fold is also a tuck spot, so it's a little journal in there. And in the big pocket, there's a large card and two large tags. These are not tags that come in the kit. These are tags that I made from pages of the kit. So, you know, you see, this is what I love about kits because you don't have to just stick to what you get. You can take the pages, you can shrink them and make them into cards, you can make tags out of them, envelopes. Do your own thing, really. Uh, just some tea dyed paper. There's another cluster here on the square tissue paper, an image from the kit. Here I have done a row of mini coin envelopes. This is all fussy cutting down here as decoration with fussy cut bees on. And each little envelope has a little card in that has been backed and dyed and even stitched, which is quite rare for me to stitch smaller cards like this. I don't usually bother and these are all cards that I've taken from off cuts of pages really because I fussy cut a lot of the images out of the pages like these and I, I end up with a lot of off cuts so I just made these little cards out of off cuts because you know you use up your scraps and they're quite effective and that just goes in the four little envelopes and here we have another image from the kit flip it here these are um pockets that you do get in the kit so these there's a smaller one at the front which has two tags in and these tags are from the kit they are tags that you get in the kit then there's a larger pocket at the back from the kit with a card in which is from the kit and then behind that, there is a glassine bag, if you can see that. And inside the glassine bag, there's also another card. So they're just kind of layered pockets, really. I like the layered look. These bags, because they have these little bits on the side, they can be a bit fiddly sometimes. There you go, that one goes in there. This one goes in there and then you've got two tags in the smaller pocket. Some more of the lace dye printed paper and then an image from the kit. And then on the back cover there is a, another pocket from the kit. I've just added a little bit of fabric stripping and a flower doily on it. 
and in there there is a envelope this is from the kit look at how well she's matched those honey drips i love that she's done that matched it so it flows and in there there is oh dear there is a fold over which i haven't backed or inked i totally forgot about it i definitely will back and ink that before i send it on to whoever buys it because i hate the fact that i forgot to do that <laughs> there's always some little thing that i tend to forget every journal i do but i will make sure that's done so there's that little envelope and then there is a large tag which i actually made from one of the left scraps of the leftover page now because i made this from a scrap like a leftover piece there's a little bit of a slope at the bottom here because i think i fussy cut something out of this bit here so there's a little bit of a slope but it still works as a tag i quite like it that fits in there this I wouldn't, I don't push it all the way down because it's quite thick. So I just push it in and you so you can see the word sweet stays in. It doesn't come out. And yeah, that is my bee journal. And I have to say, I'm really happy with it. I love doing bee journals and um, oh, I don't know. Every time I do a new one, I like it more than the last one. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm glad it's completed now and i can move on so um i will list this in my shop obviously and i will put the link in the description below along with a link to um the kit which is called honey honey blossom i think it's called by the book vandal shop i will also put a link to the most amazing angela carr and her youtube channel because i think every journaler should have access to it because it is so she's so amazing her tutorials and yeah big thank you to um rose james for the inspiration of the front cover i think that's all i need to credit in this one um i hope you like it i would love to know your feedback on it I'm really into just using old book covers at the moment that I don't really need to add to. So, yeah, I would love to know your feedback on this and your comments. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate all of my subscribers and their comments. I'm not very good at answering them sometimes, though, but I do my best when I have time. Um, and I am starting to ramble again. I never know how to finish videos, so I tend to just go on and on and on so anyway um thanks for watching subscribe like comment and i will see you next time thank you bye bye, bye.